Hello friends and welcome back to Virtual Happy Hour. Tonight we are making a classic cocktail, the Brandy Alexander. I know you're shocked. We have been doing this for nearly 200 episodes. I really need to go back and count because I think we're getting dangerously close. And I don't want you to miss out on the opportunity to congratulate me on my um, seasoned liver and my commitment to the craft, the craft cocktail that is. Yes, anyhow, I wanna give you a little history lesson. I know it's been a while since I've given you one of those and I believe that some of you are showing up strictly uh, for, the, for your own edification when it comes to cocktail history. So allow me to indulge you. For this cocktail, you are going to need brandy, preferably a nice cognac. I am using Hennessy, creme de cacao, cream, and some freshly grated nutmeg. This cocktail was very popular in the 70s. I don't know why creamy cocktails were so popular then. Also a bit of a heyday for the White Russian, which we made early on. Anyway, the first appearance in print of this cocktail was the original version, which is simply called the Alexander, which is the same cocktail, but is made with London dry gin instead of French brandy. So that's the, the kind of notable difference. But it first appeared in print in 1916 in Harry Enslin's Recipes for Mixed Drinks. Likely, according uh, to a cocktail historian by the name of Barry Pulpic, I believe his name is, it was likely created at the Rector Hotel in New York City in the early 1900s. The Rector Hotel was a pre-prohibition era lobster palace in New York City and a bartender there by the name of Troy Alexander created this eponymous, is that how you say it? I don't know. Anyway, created this cocktail in his own name uh, to celebrate Phoebe Snow. And you may be wondering, who's Phoebe Snow? Never heard of her, never heard of her. Well, that's because she's a fictional character. Phoebe Snow was a vehicle for advertising for the Lackawanna, Delaware, and Western Railroads who were using anthracite, which apparently is a clean burning variety of white coal, and they used her in their advertising campaigns, and they had her pictured in all white to, uh, to promote their anthracite, powering their locomotives. And hence, we have the Brandy Alexander. White. It's a white cocktail, Snow White, to celebrate Phoebe Snow. Let's go ahead and get started. Into your cocktail shaker, you will need an ounce and a half of cognac, preferably. Other brandy will suffice. Yes. Ounce and a half. And then we're gonna do one ounce each of our creme de cacao. And I think that it's worth recapping because it's been a while since I shared the fundamentals of why we shake drinks versus stirring them. Also one ounce of cream. We shake cocktails to emulsify the ingredients. And as you can see, this cream is quite viscous, which means it has a different liquid density than the spirit and the liqueur that we're using herein. And so as a result, we need to shake because if we didn't do that, what would happen is that the milk or the cream would float on top of the spirits. It wouldn't be a very pleasant a drinking experience, that's for sure. So we do it to shake and also to dilute so that it's not just straight spirit. The ice will break down a bit in our shaker, add some water, and also chill the cocktail. glass, my friends, mes amis. I mean, I don't think I would describe it as snow white, as you can see, should have double strained. Should have double strained. That's because I can see some ice chips in my drink, which is not ideal. I really need to keep my second fine mesh strainer close at hand. And now we're gonna grate some 
fresh nutmeg. A little aromatic action. And then we're going to sample the Brandy Alexander, which was originally called the Alexander Number no. 2. Don't know what happened to Alexander Number no. 1. Cheers. It's pretty tasty, gotta say. Tastes like dessert. Dessert in a glass. Just what you've always wanted. Thank you for joining me for day, today's, for today's cocktail history lesson. I hope you enjoy and imbibe. And I will see you on Tuesday. <laughs>